Mostly because I've died twice, and then well, I feel like I've never played a decent amount of twice. Well, I'm gonna play for another 40 minutes because oh, I'm only on episode 9. And That's okay, because I mean, I'm further ahead than you, right. so it's okay. So you leave and you get on the PlayStation, or you start playing the game? Because I would really appreciate it if you know you didn't leave before I was playing. I have to go get my hair cut. <laughs> At three in the morning, fantastic. That's fine. I got I got baby girl on the phone to keep me company. She can laugh at me while I. You know what I forgot? Fuck! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot there was a liquor outside the room. Good luck with that. I'll see you when I see you. All right. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Got turned around, I couldn't see where I was going. Oh. Sorry. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! You know, that kind of personality is... They're killing all the researchers! Like... This. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Again, that's a like, real right? good way to fucking be stuck where you are. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm going to check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Oh. This will take... I am... dying. Some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Flash grenades are all on good. Same thing. No. Nope. Just this. Oh man. Got a red herb, I got a green herb. I'm gonna try to hold on to that as long as I can. Put that away, put that away. Need 
You said grenades work pretty well against these damn things. Is that a red? It is not. It's just a flower pot. Wait, is that a red herb? It is. Let me down. Okay. <coughs> Report on the mansion incident. <coughs> Damn. This bizarre incident occurred. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. What are you in here with? This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio, radio, radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the, the, cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in the, a secret umbrella laboratory beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that of all that occurred. However, all evidence was des was destroyed along with the mansion. No further investig ah, shit. No further investigation has proven to be further so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Is that Jill in the front row? Okay. I get a strong feeling I'm supposed to go back outside. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. September 29th, 4.43 a.m., Star's office. Let's just jump back over to jail. What's going on? The Carlos Express. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save these off site because these videos are gonna be kind of beefy. Several minutes earlier, subway time. Ugh. Yeah, I was pretty sure we was gonna have to lace that uh, that one dude up. Cause he 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 was trying to prove he was going out of his way to be a pain in the cock me. Right. Am I the only one who made it? Oh, oh no, you are not the only one who made it, I promise you that. That dick chewing asshole definitely got out of there alive. Despite, oh, yeah. you know. Totally not deserving to have done so. Carlos, oh. come in. Carlos, oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Mine rounds. Wait, what did I say? Uh, ammo for the grenade launcher flies to its target using its own propulsion system. Detonates a short time or after it's, or if it's approached. All right. Some more mine rounds. What's this? Weaponry notice. New weaponry notice. Weaponry notice. Good. Uh, good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R and D, and they will light even your fires. What? And they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. 
Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them into anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect the approaching enemies and detonate if they get within range. So basically just toss them at an, in the enemy's path and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as an uh, as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Alright. Put that away. <laughs> Uh, put that away. Put that away. Keep hold of that. Um, these, some of that. This is what, what we got. Okay, go ahead. Turn the save real quick. Okay. All right, with that being said, let's go in here and do some stuff that's gonna make us regret continuing to play. You know, weirdly enough. Hold on. Yeah, it seems like I can. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way to like unload what you have already in there, which kind of sucks. Oh, we're back outside. Alive. I can't stay here. <sighs> clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque style is a Baroque style building which stands at the heart of the Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon, and the residents consider it to be emblematic uh, uh, to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. Philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument in public plaza on lockdown, but in the, in in the, in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time, the, with proper preservation, Efforts in place, the clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once be heard again through can once again be heard through Raccoon City. I know this is. I know that. I know. Like, this is just about to be like. A giant F me. Like I know it is.
Not like it matters, because if I'm if I come against him. Yep, there it is. Did he set himself on fire? What the hell happened? Bitch can't even swim. Talking a lot of shit for some, you know, you don't have a clue what it can do. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. See? Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Chill. Chill, what happened? Chill, come What the fuck? Why? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Why? What? It, what? What the fuck are you? Come the fuck on, bro. What is this shit? It's a dinosaur at this point. Wrong button. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Okay. I heard him land. I just don't know where he went. Right, okay. I'm gonna argue with you. What do I have? Oh, okay.
I swear I dodged that. Oh, my little, uh, oh, my ammo. Like, I see what I'm supposed to do. Like, I gotta knock it off the wall, and that's when it'll be vulnerable. But I think the problem is I didn't, I've squandered all my opportunities. Because I done ran out of ammunition. I ran out of everything. I thought I was going to quit, but I, I don't want to end the night without beating this thing. So the whole rhetoric of like, like, comment, follow, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. Hopefully I beat this damn thing in the next episode. So join me, won't you? Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.